Okay, so I'm live on Puppet. If anyone has a colonist and does want to join, Yed, hi. It's so good to see you. Okay, so what the heck were we working on in RimWorld? Um, it's been a week and a half, so of course I forget. We are meditating at the anima tree, but we only have five anima grass, so maybe we should increase that a bit. Yeah, let's increase it a little bit. So only... Only four of our colonists are capable of... This music sounds so loud. Uh, only four of our colonists are capable of meditating at the anima tree. So we'll focus on having them do it. Checked it out yet. Yeah, we do have a mod list for this playthrough. It is a highly modded playthrough. As you can tell, we have... Uh, drow, so like a dark elf. We have a, I believe you're a high elf, MJ. It just says elf. Oh, and then Aaron is a half elf. Okay. And our ideologian is a collectivist tree connection. Like I said, the anima connection is a modded uh, vanilla, vanilla ideology expanded something, anima tree, something like that. So we have this modded uh, ideology that makes our connection to the anima really strong. So we're going to be focusing on meditating here quite a lot. Uh, I, I do think we're still going to build out the walls, even though we're planning on relocating. Hmm. Do we have an ancient danger? No. Wait, really? Okay, well that makes the decision uh, a lot easier about whether or not to take out the ancient danger. <laughs> um, there's no ancient danger on this map, so that is not something we need to take care of before we relocate to the next one. Finish the last final for the semester today. Uh, you got to wrap up a project report that I'm done for at least a month. That's amazing. I'm sure you need the break. Surprise, we already took it out. Wait, we did? No. <laughs> I mean, I know my brain is a little bit fried right now from, you know, the sleep situation, but I think I would remember that. Want to harvest our crops. Make a lot of, uh, we're going to want to make a lot of pemmican before we go. Some blocks would be okay, but I don't think we want to, I don't think we want to make blocks forever. I think we... I think we just do it like a specific amount of times. Hmm. I don't know if we should finish these walls. I do want to finish the bed rolls. Yeah, we'll finish the bed rolls. We'll stock up on some pemmican and then we'll like take what we have on the road, I think. I would also like to tame a couple of pack animals. Ooh, cargo pods. Cargo pods. Uh, blocks. Okay. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I don't know if we really need them, but we'll bring them in. So I decided that we're going to tame these Lorian white doe and a Lorian white stag. They're really beautiful. I looked at the information. It does say they're pack animals, so they can help us with the caravanning around. And, um, you know, I got to I gotta tame something that's in the mod pack, so that's what I went with. <laughs> we took out zero, zero. The, that's 100%. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> so what do you all think? Should we not bother with these walls? I feel like we should not bother with these walls. We could even consider deconstructing some if we have the room. Granite would probably be um, the best choice for stone blocks to bring with us. Maybe we will go on the caravan today. I feel like we will. Seems like the odds are pretty good for us to relocate today. 
Um, so yeah, so I hope you all are excited about the new channel point redemption option. Uh, I think it's going to be really fun. Obviously when it's mid game, the only thing you're going to be able to set is your traits. But I think that is a little bit nicer than getting a random pawn with random traits. Um, like King Box, for example, is a tortured artist nudist. Uh, that's not that great, right? So it might be fun for people to be able to change their traits up. Are we researching anything? What are we researching? Great bow. What was that? Rejected proposal? No! MJ told H. Cameron that he wants to spend his life with her, and H. Cameron rejected the proposal. It was too much for the relationship to continue, and the two have broken up. Okay. I'm upset. <laughs> can you can you tell that I'm upset about this? Um gosh, H. Gammon, why you gotta be like that? <laughs> All right, so we need more bedrolls, basically. Uh, this is 40 plain leather, and we have... Okay, so we can make one out of plain leather, one out of pig skin. No, let's do two out of pig skin, because I think we'll get more pig skin from deconstructing. Okay, we have enough pig, pig skin. Can we make... Mm, We can, but it's not going to be great. I was thinking if we make a... Like, duster. We could make a pelt coat. Interesting. H. Cameron's not wearing any outer layer. So it'd be nice to make something... For H. Gammon to wear. A plain leather pelt coat probably is the best option. What is everyone else wearing? A jacket. Recon armor. Do we have any art skills? Can make some good sculptures to offset the fact that we'll always be living in dirty barracks. King Box is insulting MJ. I don't love that. Does someone... Do we have that calming mod? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Wait, it says not assigned to wardening. That means we do. So King Box and H Gammon, you gotta do it. Try to calm down King Box. This is a mod. Um, where you can use someone with social skill to try to calm down a mental break. It's not, it's frequently not successful. And with M, uh, with H Gammon only having a 3.5, it's probably not going to be successful. King Box is actually the person who would normally do that. <laughs> Has American Truck Simulator sucked you into streaming it yet? No, I have not streamed it. Um, but I do know a lot of people have really been enjoying it. I am uh, I'm starting a brand new Skyrim playthrough, so that's what I'm alternating with between RimWorld. Um, or when I'm not streaming RimWorld, that's what I'm streaming. But right now I'm just doing two days a week because we have a little one. Prosthetic arm. Chow. Okay. Okay, so Chow redeemed a body part redemption with the D10 D20 roll of six. And that is a prosthetic arm. So let's first look to see if anyone's missing an arm. <laughs> MJ has a peg leg. Forgot about that. Um, yeah, H. Gammon is missing an arm, so that's actually a good roll. Beautiful. Prosthetic arm, right arm. It only took forever to figure out. <laughs> um, they're still sharing a bed, which is great. Inspire creativity. Oh, because of the mental break, you get inspire creativity. Oh. Maybe we should use that inspiration to make a piece of art. 
Um... We need a little bit more steel. How is it going? Low food? Excuse me? We have 369 pemmican. How is our food low? Oh no, Kingbox just made something. No. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> MJ just created a pigskin bedroll. Okay. That's fine. Let's get someone who can mine. Can anyone mine? Ooh. We're kind of bad at mining in this colony. Oh, MJ's gonna... Oh my gosh, MJ has to do everything. <laughs> okay, so H. Gammon is going to... Prioritize harvesting. And then work on making additional pemmican. I'm... Surprised it says low food. I guess the pemmican 350 is not that much for pemmican. Yeah, no storage space. That's fine. It's just because I have limited space for chunks, but um, we don't want to have them haul in a million chunks, so I think that's a good thing. Yep, does everything. <laughs> Mods work never done. Yeah. The pemmican is allowed as food, I believe. I mean, that's a good thought. Let's just double check. Lavish, allow everything. Okay. So they are allowed to eat the pemmican. Butcher creature. Do forever. MJ, work on the... Uh, Art bench, so that way our artist, King Box, can make some artwork. And uh, Aaron, yeah, Aaron, you're making some meals. Can you deconstruct this real quick? I just want to make sure that MJ and H Hammond stop sharing a bed. I caught dinner. Good. That's good, Squid. And now you're meditating. I love that. Look at this. Seven. Okay. It's progressing. I think that's what's going to be the factor. Uh, that's, that's what's going to prevent us from leaving. So let's expand it one more tile. One more schedule block, I guess. I don't know if tile is the right term. H. Gammon, where are you going to meditate more? Because I just added that to your schedule. Are we not... Are we not handling... Darl? Darl, I need you to... I'm gonna... I'm gonna need you to go tame those animals. Uh, I'm also going to make you make some skull masks. And let's do a large bone sculpture. King Box will work on that. They're just resting right now. Okay, so that's six bedrolls. So that's all the bedrolls we need. Maggie Megs, you're wandering. Nice. I feel like we should train you to haul both of the animals. Zangief, hi! Yes, so we have a new channel point redemption for building a pawn, customizing your Rimworld pawn. Um, if it's mid-game, like this game is already in progress, you will only be able to select their traits. And I put a point limit and then I build out a spreadsheet. Spreadsheets. Um, <laughs> the spreadsheet shows you what point values I've assigned 
to different traits. Uh, and then when it's a new game, we'll use this channel point redemption to allow people in chat to customize their colonists completely. I wonder if we should really be sowing new plants. I don't think we should. I'm all about the spreadsheets. Me too. I love me some good spreadsheets. <laughs> How's everyone doing? It's so lovely to see all of you. Um, so I figured it out because I can add traits to a colonist and the only thing that it doesn't impact is it won't actually impact skills. So let's say we added gourmand to MJ and it's supposed to add a plus four to cooking. It won't actually do that. So we'll have to spawn in a skill trainer to add to MJ. Um, it also won't reduce skills if any of them are supposed to reduce skills, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Talamar, random, nice. Okay, let's do it. Well, yes, it would be 20k for getting a pawn, but we just had a... There's also the one that Talamar just did, which is a random colonist. And the random colonist is... A, um, you know, you don't get to customize them, but it's cheaper. Talamar, do you have a preference on the type of colonist? Would you like to be an elf, a drow, uh, a ferrix? Oh my god, there's so many animals showing up here. Ferrix is really cute. Um, this is the half elf. Oh, drow. Okay, that sounds good. It's not this. I figure I'd offer because we like actually have these. All right. Ooh, you look good. Oh my gosh, look at those traits. <laughs> Talamar, welcome into the colony. You are passionate about shooting, construction, planting, medical, and intellectual. But look at this. You're a very neurotic psychopath who's pretty kind and bloodlusty. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, I really like your interest in planting. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I feel like we could use more of that. You're also good at research, so that's always good. It's always good to have good researchers. You are passionate about construction, but you kind of have a low skill to actually do construction, so I might try to level it up with repair work. And... In a pinch, you can do doctoring, but I'd rather you not focus on it. So I'm going to set you as a four. Darl and MJ are our primary. Doctors. So they should be carrying medicine. And I think we need to do herbal meds because I don't think we have regular medicine. Okay, we do not. Yeah. Bumble drone migration. So this is with one of the um one of the mods. It's weird that these trees were pulled up pulled up. We'll wanna make sure we uh replant those. I don't see any others, though. What is this? Wait. Talmar came with a gun? Are you hecking kidding me? That is amazing. Although I feel like we should uh, give it to Kingbox. <laughs> um... They will love me while I beat them. Yeah, right? A pretty kind. <laughs> um, very neurotic psychopath who is pretty and kind. I think I know that person. Um, yeah. Do we know the big trees? Is that alpha biomes? Let's check real quick. It's probably alpha biomes. 
The Berry Army shall bring reckoning to all who oppose us. <laughs> and if it's not Alpha Biomes, it's Lord of the Rims Elves. Okay. Squid says Lord of the Rim Elves. So let's just run our Berry Army battle real quick and then we'll do more rim worlding. All right. Yeah. So these trees, Zangief in spring were golden they were gorgeous they were really pretty um and now they're green so i'm wondering if they're going to change any other change to any other colors but probably they just go from yellow to green what is what is happening with all these trees did I do that? Because, like, if they don't get replanted and they die, uh, I'm pretty sure the colony will be upset because of the, the tree worship, the tree connection. Hmm. I feel like I must have done that, but... It's very strange. Yeah, there's some... There's some leaves there. Malorn leaves. Are they... Is that happening anywhere else on the map? Oh, no. Oh, no. At least we're not playing no pause, right? <laughs> Remember no pause and how hard it was? <laughs> All right. And they don't have guns, which makes me happy. Um, I don't see any other raiders on the map. We're going to... Toggle emergency alert mode. You should stay in safe, H. Gammon. We're going to have Talamar drop the gun. And Kingbox dropped the gun or the bow. I didn't even check to see if they're attacking right away. They're attacking immediately. Okay, good. Talamar, go ahead and pick up the bow, and you're going to equip the bold action. Aaron, you're in a good spot. King Box, come here with that bold action. They're coming down. If anyone doesn't know, chunks do provide a decent amount of cover, 50% cover effectiveness. So they're almost as good as barricades. Who are we missing, Squid? Animals go into safe. Specifically, let's have the unicorn mare go into safe. Bonded and, uh... Yeah, we just, we really don't want them getting hurt again. Squid, get up here. Okay. That sounds good. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. It's great to have you. Feel free to let us know if you have any other questions. Um, obviously, like, I'm playing RimWorld today, and I play a lot of RimWorld, but I'm always down to answer questions that people might have about the stream or um, more specifically, especially about the games. Oh, no, Talamar. Um, specifically about the games. If anyone has questions about the games that I'm playing, please do not hesitate. Oh, you should keep attacking. Let's get MJ to rescue Talamar. Um, because I do play a lot of RimWorld, I definitely want people to feel comfortable asking questions about it. With Skyrim, I'm not going to be able to answer people's questions, um, but people in chat will. The chat is very knowledgeable about Skyrim since so many of the community members have played it. 
Okay. Everyone can be freed, I believe. Everyone can be freed. Let's go ahead and haul these things urgently. MJ's bringing in Talamar, who needs to be tended. Um, and we should probably put in, like, a torch lamp. Aaron. Oh, Aaron's in a mood. Okay, can you actually build the torch lamp so we have some light? Talamar's getting tended in the dark. Brainless! It's so good to see you! How have you been? Oh, come on, Aaron. Oh, you gotta fail. Uh, Brainless, I hope you've been well. It's been a minute. I hope things have been going well for you, for sure. Okay, Talamar's patched up. No, Talamar still has... A couple of injuries. MJ is tending, so MJ's getting a little bit more medicine to do so. Aaron, why are you failing this a million times? You have a seven in construction and you're struggling to make a torch lamp. Tell me why this is happening. Thank you. <laughs> Tend to Aaron, please. Okay, so we got a little bit more plain leather. Do we need plain leather for anything? We could make like two pelt coats, maybe? Might be, oh, King Box. King Box is wearing a scarf and gloves. <laughs> King Box is a nudist, uh, but that's, Oh, I did assign King Box to be a nudist. Okay. Happily nude. Plus 20 mood. Honestly, that's really nice. Tree disturbed? What trees were disturbed? Why? Me. <laughs> what trees? Bizu is licking my hand right now. Yep. Thank you. Why is your mood so bad? Insulted, absorbed corpse, absorbed rotting corpse. Uh, you're still upset about the unicorn mare dying, even though we revived him. Her. Hi. Hello. Oh, yeah. So if I keep using the same zone every time they have to haul a corpse, they're going to go back to the same spot. That's not great. Share that mood with us, please, King Dax. He needs a third glove. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Talamar needs to re-equip the bow. Smoke leaf binge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... I don't know what trees were disturbed, but that must be from a while ago. Bees, you're being a little bit of a troll right now. He's doing the thing where he rubs his face on everything. That cat, am I right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, cat. Okay. MJ, hauling berries. Can you actually start, like, replanting some of these trees? Because I'm a little worried that they're going to... Yeah, we, we always fail calming people down. He's being very demanding, everyone. <laughs> Okay, come sit on my lap or something. Old moodlet? Okay, that's what I was thinking. Because it's only minus two, so it was probably like there was like a tree that I missed. And it's still, uh, it's still affecting them. I would love to have like a bumble drone army. Wouldn't that be incredible? 
girl, can you try taming these? A breeding pair of these would be nice. It's not necessary, but it would be nice to have one of each. Tame failed. Okay. That's fine. You got one of them. Which will help with our... Uh... Caravanning. At least. Okay. All those trees have been replaced. That's good. Okay. Now he will stop distracting me. <laughs> And we can just look at the pretty princess and the cat cam. Because she is being nice and, uh... Zara, yeah. our fluffy little princess. She's being a nice little princess right now. Good. Okay. Heat stroke, combat supplier. Ooh, combat supplier would be great. I would love to buy a gun. Or maybe even two. Do we have anything we can sell for a gun? That's the question. Who's our crafter? Squid. Squid, you're you're gonna craft on one and then hunt on two. Oh, I need one more bedroll because we got a new colonist. We do not have the pig skin. What do we have? Uh, plain leather. King Box is sleeping on the floor, and I was like, what is this? Excuse me? Good. Okay. Catch up on things, please. Bring things in. King Box, trade with Kelly. Okay, we're going to sell the drugs for sure. We're not supposed to be doing drugs. And having them around is rough because someone might do them. Uh, and that's not good. They do have guns for sale. But can we afford any of the guns for sale? Can we afford this? No. Can we sell anything else and afford this? Yes. Yes. Okay. I mean, it's not great, right? Like, we're selling everything we can possibly sell. But we're getting a machine pistol out of it. And right now, technology-wise, we can only craft bows. Nothing would make you happier than to craft? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds good. So, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get a machine pistol. Do I wish it was a chain shotgun or the LMG? Yes, but we can't afford those. Now, who gets it? Who's better? Darl. Darl is a better shot, so we're going to give it to Darl. Hello? Machine pistol? Where are you? Huh. Someone already brought it in. I'm like looking around for it, not seeing it. And I'm like, what is, what is happening? Hello? Kingbox is our moral guide? Yeah. Eighth of Juggist is the fair of animism. Unity Emblem, what's that? We could try fitting this in somewhere in here, but we might just do the fair without it. We could also research complex clothing. Maybe that's a better idea to research complex clothing first. King Box is working away on the sculpture, which will use their inspiration. Major Brick Risk, Aaron. Aaron is greedy. 
Used recreational drug, yeah. See, Aaron had that mood break where they did a lot of smoke leaf and now they're upset about it. Thanks, Ilana Bot. I'll give that a shot. <laughs> Come down here and cook. There's a lot of meat that I think is going to go bad. Heat stroke? Talmar's got heat stroke. What are you wearing? A parka. Nice. You got the other one, Darl. That's awesome. Squirrel meat right away. It's not that much. Blue squid is a night owl, so sleeping. Okay. After you're done resting, I'm going to have you eat. No. Eat. Eat! Yeah, see, a lot of meat just rotted away. It's gammon. We'll set H Gammon to cook on high priority as well now. Um, prepare for a while, then attack. Okay. Two people? Just two people. They're down here. I think Darl's going to be safe, even though they're raiding. Because they'll prepare for a while. Darl's going to head back right now. All the meat is rotting. Ugh. So we hunted too much, basically. Excellent sculpture. Love that for us. I love that for us. Okay. Get rid of the home zone in that area. Look at this. Okay. We're gonna just like rest. Let's go ahead and show our colony. So King Box, you are still doing well. You're still here, but I don't believe you had the peg leg. It was MJ who has the peg leg. So we're going to use your redemption to put a prosthetic leg on MJ's right leg. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, obviously uh, a bionic or something would be better, but this is not the worst thing. Yay! MJ's no longer on a peg leg. And just in time for a raid. I believe we have raiders on the map. Yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, um, this is our, this is our, like, special elven biome with these huge trees. We have a couple of different races. This is a half-elf, an elf, two drows, and a ferrix, and then we have two humanoids. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty highly modded playthrough. So we actually have these, like, special deer okay they're sleeping in there which i didn't intend for them to even have access to <laughs> whoops uh we need a couple of spots for them to sleep cue those up what happened on april stream i missed it um in room world let's see so we had the, the stream, um, the last stream of this colony, we had, there is actually an edited VOD of it on the YouTube channel, but we had a, uh, a massive raid through the D20 events redemptions. Um, oh. It was like a pirate raid, so they showed up with MJ all these guns. JXP gifted a tier one sub to game a plane. They have given 349 <laughs> gift subs in the channel. 
MJ. MJ gifting that sub to Gamerplane. That's really heckin' lovely of you, MJ. You know Gamerplane will make use of all the benefits of subscribers, so thank you so much. And that's nine months for Gamerplane. That's awesome. A brand new badge for Gamerplane. Um, so we have a redemption that led to a pirate raid, and they showed up with grenades and guns, and we had bows, <laughs> bows and arrows. And with the grenades, they took down a lot of our structure. They killed a couple of our, they killed Aaron and also our um, bonded Eliander. Raiders are coming, so we have to pay attention to that. I pretty much put everyone in position. We should be fine. Wait, there were more raiders. What? Okay, there was one more raider. I don't see any others. Oh my gosh. That's like the worst. Get caught off guard by raiders. Gamer Plane's like, let's do more events. And you rolled an eight. The plague. Okay. <laughs> Um, that should be okay as long as we're on top of tending, right? No! Okay. Shooters, you should probably be shooting at these, these ones. The plague. No, no, no. Yeah, someone just shot Aaron. Okay, you need to stop firing. You, you're shooting Aaron. Peace is coming. They brought beer. Wasn't there one more? Oh, Sleepy is slow. Big surprise, Sleepy is slow. MJ, get in the fight. There you go. Go, Juice. This is going to be fine. This is a pretty small raid. I wonder if we can get Sleepy down and get their flak jacket. That would be nice. Let's, uh... Have these folks punch. You do this. Oh. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, and then MJ, you're gonna go back inside. Maggie Megs, you're gonna be fine. Perfect. I can't believe that worked. I did something that actually worked, people. <laughs> I wanted their flak jackets, so we all punched them instead of a... Uh... Instead of, um shooting at them and it actually worked and they are downed so we can take their clothes and I don't want a teetotaler who's jealous. We already have a greedy pawn um, so yeah we definitely do not want a jealous teetotaler let's go ahead and put the flak jacket on Aaron as a melee pawn that seems like a good move and then we will haul the center to... Nice. Okay, good job. So now we have to do the plague. And I'm a little nervous about the plague. Okay, we have uh, seven colonists. King Box, you get in the plague. the luck of the draw, you know. Can we tend up first? Um, yeah. <laughs> I already did it. Uh. Okay. MJ? You're tending Maggie Megs. I mean, Maggie Megs is important. 
but like, you know, maybe we tend to the people. Sixty-five percent ten quality on King Box. So here we are. What is this? Anima seed. Plant anima nexus tree. <gasps> oh. So instead of a Garenland pod, we have an anima nexus tree. And I wonder if it's different from this anima tree. Oh my gosh. I am so curious. That's wild. Okay. It's too bad you can't preach health to yourself. Yeah. Can't preach health to yourself. Talmar, are you doing okay? It looks like your eye is beat up. Okay. It's just a cut. It'll get better. The bone axe 5.78. What is your current weapon? 4.82. Aaron, you're going to switch to one of these bone axes. I happened to pick the one that had the best quality, so that's nice. Sleepy, are you dead? Two hours. Okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're gonna wanna move this zone. Once again. Oh, the doe is already pregnant. Wow, they got to that fast. Uh, so we can move Sleepy somewhere out of the way. All right, so we're getting close on herbal meds. H. Gammon? Meditating. Aaron is cooking. Okay, Aaron is cooking. Cooking is like the most important thing. Honestly, we'd be on our way to the next settlement if we... If we had cooked more. Food is the number one issue with the colony right now. That, and I want to... Redeem one. Uh, we need 20 anima grass to get one side cast. There will be more events. There will be more events. Um, we have mods for, like, extra events. And, uh... So there should be more of them popping up here and there. There should be more. Does a rain dance. Yeah, I'm like, what is happening? Oh. Did I build these? I think I did. And here we are putting them in piles on the ground and we have like built we have built uh graves okay oops each chairman's researching for us thank you hydrate thank you aria that's a good idea i will in fact hydrate talamar resting here so where's king box talamar no Kingbox was supposed to say forced to rest there and for some reason did not. It's Kingbox's bedroll. And so Kingbox didn't have anywhere to sleep. And tuned with nature or some crap like that. <laughs> there we go. 70% 10 quality on the plague. Okay, we're doing okay. But you should still stay in bed because when you have the plague, you should rest. 
You hear me? H. Gammon equipped that elf cape, even though H. Gammon is not an elf. <laughs> um, when Aaron took the flak jacket, H. Gammon got an elf cape. So that's pretty cool. We can go down to one pelt coat, I think. Shoot Frenzy Boot Squid. That's fair, but I need you crafting. I need you crafting. Daryl is going to go hunt the boar. I'll make sure not to keep you forced to uh, craft forever. Daryl using a machine pistol to craft or er, to hunt is kind of funny. We're getting close on the anima tree. 12. It's not too shabby. And it did start raining, so the fires have stopped. Which is good. There's a lot of fire. Okay, the... The pelt coat is done. I think I'm gonna unforbid... Or unforce. Oh, you're switching for it. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can take the pelt coat if it's nicer than your jacket. That's fair. I want to make more of those bone masks. Talamar's got some cool marks on their face. I like it. Are the drows all young? Yeah, the drows are very young compared to the other elves. Um, Aaron is a half elf who's 2,500 years old. MJ is 317, and Talamar and Blue Squid are both in their 30s. Yeah, work with the tools you got. Yeah. I think some of these things produce um, produce resources that are harvestable. Spend a lot of time meditating. 14. Not too shabby. Bear meat rotted away. Okay, but Aaron is working on cooking, so that's good. Maggie Megs. Uh. We still have a cat zone. Hmm. I feel like Maggie Megs is going to starve if I keep them in this zone without access to meat. Right? Because Maggie Megs is going to need to eat meat. Yeah. Or kibble. All right. Well, we'll just allow uh, Maggie Megs, our river hound, Good night, access in here. That's why I wanted to check. H. Gammon is hauling. Can you make more pemmican? Okay, thank you, H. Gammon. King Box, how is your plague Good doing? Night, you keep getting up. It's already 118. Absolutely. Call it a night. Good night, friend. We will see you on Sunday with more Skyrim. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for everything, MJ. I can appreciate you. All right, let's get rid of medical because our... Uh, Ooh, look at them. Look at the cute elves. Look at how good they look. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah, they look awesome. I really like this mod. 
I've never played with it before. Over zero, giving us an epic Elon Roma bomber. Heck yes. Virtual opportunity soon. The fair vandalism. That's right. I'm just going to do it with the ritual spot. It's not that great, but it's better than nothing. People are mining. That's good. How are we on Pemmican now? 579. We're getting closer. New lovers. I shouldn't have deconstructed the double bed. Blue squid. Courted H. Gammon. Oh, my. Oh, my. H. Gammon decided that they did not want to be with MJ and decided to be lovers with squid <laughs> instead. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> Alerts? Hello? PTS? All right. So Blue Squid and H Gammon are going to want to share this bed. Kingbox, are you okay? What's going on? Tortured Artist. Rebuffed by... Oh. It says one Anima Nexus connection. Why does Talamar not have that, dude? Does anyone else not have it? Oh, maybe because Talamar is newer to the colony, because Aaron also doesn't have that mood. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, because they're newer. Going to have to call it yourself. Absolutely, Daryl. Good night. It's been nice seeing you. Thank you for hanging out. We will see you on Sunday. Okay, they're meditating right now, so let's wait until they're done meditating and then do it. So this is not the Anima Nexus connection. They want this Anima seed. They want this Anima Nexus, which might actually be kind of hard with us moving from tile to tile. Emo placing an epic emo flamingo. Nice. Yeah, that might be kind of hard with us moving from tile to tile. I thought it would be this, but it makes sense that it replaced the Garenlin pod. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how that'll work. Oh my. They want Neil sheets. They want a leader. Oof. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that they want for this. And we don't have... We're, like, cramming into this room. Who else has social skill? H. Gammon. H. Gammon will have to be our leader. Only a three in social. It's not great. Okay, um, yeah, so H. Gammon's going to have to be our leader right now. H. Gammon is cooking. MJ's going to finish building the lectern. This will just give the, the fair a little bit of a boost. I probably should have paid attention to that before the day of the actual holiday came, but here we are. I used to game this. I used to know this game so well. Now I'm clueless. Yeah, so ideology actually added quite a lot to the game. And uh, it does feel like it made it a bit of a different game, for sure. I think... Oh, we don't have wood. Oh, no. Okay, well... That's a thing. We're not going to be able to cook up any of this meat if we don't have wood. 
Do we cut like a couple trees? Maybe one tree? It's gonna make people mad. Age gaming, cutting the tree right before becoming the leader of the ideology. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> what kind of tree gives the most wood? Oh, that's a good question. I didn't really think about that. I bet you this one would have given more wood. Harvest seal 143. But I wonder if it gives a bigger mood debuff. Probably not. All right, so next time we have to ravage a tree, we make sure to ravage the big one. <laughs> MJ, finish the lectern. Day's almost over. People are going to be mad if I delay it. Rare Thumbos. We cannot take on rare, rare Thumbos. Okay, roll change. H. Gammon is going to become our leader... Although, honestly, H. Gammon should be the plant specialist, but H. Gammon's going to have to be the leader because no one else has any good social skill other than King Box and H. Gammon. Okay, and now, H. Gammon, you're going to have to begin the fair. And we're not going to start it at an altar because the altar is really big and we can't make it. I didn't even get a debuff for that, really, because we already had the negative two. Oh, interesting. Healthy trees. I killed someone. What a rush. Uh, hopefully this fair is good because they have a, a mood debuff for the Anima Nexus. Yay! Yay! The fair of animism was fun. Everyone appreciated the chance to relax and have fun together. Participating in the ritual gets plus five for six days. Um, okay, there was no other reward other than just the mood. But I'm okay with that because it made their moods better. So that's good. How are we doing? Sign the double bed, yes. Blue Squid wants to be with HKMN. Perfect. We'll make this medical since we have it. And we can make this one medical. I was about to make bone armor, and we're not allowed to make bone armor. So, that's a thing. I think that means that the only thing we have left to do is get a side cast. So, let's go ahead and um, finish cooking. We'll schedule everyone. Who can cook? Aaron? Aaron can cook and Aaron cannot re and cannot meditate. Oh, you can meditate. Awesome, Talmar. Okay, so Aaron is going to work on cooking. Everyone else is going to spend the whole day meditating. Well, as much as you can. Uh, yeah. Good. Eat and meditate. Eat and meditate. We're at 17, so that's pretty good. We hauled in a couple of rotten corpses. My bad. This was not supposed to allow rotten. That was my mistake. Okay. Um. Aaron. I'm going to have you eat. I'm going to force you to eat. And then I'm going to force you to cook. Because it's really important that you spend the day cooking. Let's forbid some of this rice. 
Because rice will last a lot longer than anything else. Yep, meat rotting away. There's still a little bit of meat in there that I want you to cook up. Morgan Buggles, hi, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. It's lovely to see you as always. Oh no. All right, we're gonna have to chop another tree, I think. Because we need to keep cooking. I want to cook. Cook all the things. A wild buggles appears. Yes, a wild buggles appears. Oh my god, it's not it's not wood. Oh no, it's not wood. Oh no. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, it's like a different type of wood. So obviously it'll be, um, it's probably useful for crafting, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, there's only a little bit of meat left in our storage. We have 663 pemmican. So not a ton, but there is some. Hey! Daryl, come get a side cast. Daryl gets the first one. Um, but we'll make sure to take turns who gets side casts. All right, Darl. Better be a good one. Darl's game first level. Solar pinhole? Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, Darl's not getting any more side casts. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but like, yeah. Yay. You can call me Muggy. <laughs> Maggie, Muggy, wait. Um, it's not wood. It's so it's not wood for the purpose of refueling, but it is wood that we can probably craft with. It's just unfortunate because I was hoping we would get more wood out of it, right? Um, but it is what it is. Six hundred ninety plain leather. And we can get some good stuff. Do we have 690 plain leather? No. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I almost feel like we could... Hunt more deer. And get more pine leather. Before we go. We only have three fuel, so we'd be carrying some meat. We can try. Ilano Mama, <laughs> yes, is true. Scarred Vulcan, hi. 
How's it going today? How you doing? Everything is flammable if you try hard enough. Yeah. I mean, it's probably flammable. It's just because it's modded, it's not working with... It's unfortunate. It should be... You should be able to use it, but... It is not working for refueling. Why are you not hunting? Now you are. Okay. Trees disturb minus two. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uninstall these things. I feel like steel is going to be easy enough for us to come by on the next tile that we don't deconstruct the steel or the bone items. I do kind of want to take this. I don't know. If we have the means for it, we'll take it. Oh, don't, don't deconstruct this. Six hundred and ninety is kind of a lot of plain leather. Okay, and our storage is officially full, so let's just expand it in here. MJ's working on collecting some components, so we're going to want to haul those in. Urgently. Thank you, MJ. We cannot craft components, but we can collect them on every towel we go to. So it's worthwhile, I think, to collect them. This is plasteel, so we probably want to collect that as well. Hey, hey. Feels like maybe it might be a little bit asking too much because we need 690. But there are a lot of these deer on the map. So we were trying to kill them and see if we can get enough plain leather for it. Um, Like these are probably all plain leather as well. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make more pemmican then, because we do have the rice, and we're going to have to cut some trees. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So our ideology is specifically focused on tree connection, because we have this anima nexus connection. It's the Garenlin pod. Um, one of the issues with making this colony nomadic is that the anima nexus tree is something you have to plant and work at. So moving from tile to tile might be bad with relocating is the fact that they're actually, their ideology actually connects them to the Garenlin tree, essentially. Um, the Garenlin tree has been modded to be an anima nexus tree. So I'm wondering if we can't do Nomad with this ideology. And if so, we're going to 
continue to do the tribal thing, but we might not relocate. We can relocate once and try it, but um, we'll have to see. Yeah, maybe we can dig it up and re move it. Or we wait on the tile. Probably, Squid. We wait on the tile until a new pod sprouts. Because occasionally a seed pod will sprout. And that's when we're allowed to relocate. You see what I'm saying? So that way we can at least bring a new tree with us. If that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. Um, we can look at it after we relocate once. 235. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this plain leather in time. I think, uh, I think it's unlikely. Eighty-four plain leather per. The problem, more than the ability to get it, is how slow they're, how slowly they are um, working on it. Like, you know, they're spending a lot of time resting because their moods. I mean, they need to, right? Like, they're all stressed out. Trees disturbed. All right. Well, let's just cook up the rest into pemmican, and then we'll. Move on to another tile. Let's let people rest. Okay, Talmar, can you refuel that stove for me? Aaron, cooking, please? Good. Ship to the stars. Lovely. Talmar has tattered apparel. What is Talmar wearing and can we replace it? overalls i don't think i can do anything about that because i don't think i can craft any over layers um yeah okay mr chase hi how's it going it's great to see you oh no they're keeping calcium polymer in here and i wanted to put it all outside Tilting spree Talmar, yeah. Yep. Kingbox, can you calm down, Talmar? It was not successful. It's like never successful. And now you're going to insult everyone and moods are just going to get way worse. I love when that happens. The insulting sprees are kind of rough, for sure. They just... Everything just gets worse and worse. When you have insulting sprees. Alright, we're getting some components, so that's good. After we finish complex clothing, we should definitely jump straight to electricity. Uh, even if we need to do a wind turbine, I'd like to get an Ooh, electric well. stove. I am apparently lemur-like. Thanks, Talmar. Amazing. That's the insult. Beautiful. Does she need the overalls? Can't she just drop them? Yeah, I was kind of wondering why they would choose to wear something that's tattered. If it's giving them... Ratty apparel. Hmm. Could be a compliment about your agility. <laughs> Could be. All right. I think we butchered up all of them. Unless we keep chopping trees. We might just want to try to sell this meat. Do you think we can get somewhere fast enough that we can sell it? Ooh, 
No. We are not near anything. They'll buy meat. Can we get to them? 1.3 days. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, I think we go. We're gonna go. Okay. All right, uninstall everything, please. Okay, we want to take all of our people. Highest priority items. We'll start with the highest priority items. Then we'll move on to other options. I can't believe I made that out of wood. You'd think I would have known better. This is 25 kilograms. We might not want to take that. All of this. Mm. Yeah, we'll take all of it. Um, still stole no. These are all 20 kilograms each. That's like barely any weight. Uh, might be worth taking these just because they're not very heavy. Interesting. So you can bring all of the furniture if I don't bring any blocks or any chunks, which I obviously wouldn't bring anyway. What about bone? 40. Bone is pretty easy to come by, so I'm not that worried about bringing it. But we could just fill out our supplies with it. Nineteen point five days of food. Travel times one point three. Hopefully, we'll be able to sell the meat. Let's see. This meat's gonna decay before we even get there this meat is not so it's better to just leave it behind since we're not going to be able to do anything with it bring a little bit more wood instead or bone okay so we have a little less food now um but that food was gonna decay anyway I think that's I think that's good. I think that's everything. We're leaving behind the calcium polymer. Send. Zoom in. Get ready to go. Oh no. We have two mental breaks. Okay. 
Talmar, go on the caravan. What are you doing? Don't stay behind. <laughs> Talmar's like, I'll just live here, okay? It's it's not a big deal. They left a little bit of rice and one herbal med. Whatever. Just just go. Woo! We're on our first caravan! Okay, so we're here and we can trade. Uh, let's see. We're definitely going to sell these leathers that we have smaller amounts. We're going to sell the drugs. The jade, I think, will sell. The beer, for sure, will sell. We can buy their wood. Maybe not. Uh, we can buy some wood, maybe? I want to keep the frag grenades. We can get rid of the cape and the robe. This stool is worth 26 silver. Almost seems worth selling that. And then we have more bedrolls than we have people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven people, right? Keep the masterwork? Oh, yeah, because of 10 quality. You're right. Um, let's keep that one as medical and sell the excellent. And maybe one of the normals. That's pretty good. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For medical stats. As soon as you said it, I knew why. I just wasn't thinking. Um, oh, I forgot. There's a mod for jewelry. That's pretty cool. Although, wow. 600 for a diamond silver necklace. Necklace. Armor would be nice, but there's no way we're buying armor. Well... I guess we could buy, like, a skull mask, maybe. EMPs would be super nice. Can't afford it, though. Jelly fungus? What? Um, yeah. A shield. I don't understand how that works. Hmm. It's like a melee weapon and shield. That's kind of cool. We could fill up the rest of our inventory space with just wood. Hundred and fifty two wood that we can buy. That's not too shabby, honestly. Cause we do have a fueled stove in storage. That's not too shabby. Except. Okay, let's look at what we have equipped right now. to sell that bone axe and then I want to sell the tribal wear 
63 more silver. Do we... buy something else or do we take the silver? We might take the silver. We could buy more wood. Okay, why isn't it... Oh, we don't have the weight. We can buy four more wood. <laughs> That's all we can carry. We never mined that seal. That's too bad. Okay, so we're getting us 168 silver. So we have 220, 230 silver. Is there anything that we want to buy with that? Probably not. We probably can't afford anything with that. Just double checking to make sure we're not missing out on anything. Seems good. I mean, armor would be great. We can't afford this, though. Hmm. What if I sell, like, 50 plain leather? Maybe a little bit more. I know, I really wanted the EMPs, but there's no way we're gonna be able to afford them at this time. We should really focus on making a bunch of art at the next stop, and then um, we can sell that and try to get something like EMPs. I think that would be really good. Who needs armor? A lot of people. I'm gonna give it to Talmar though. And I'm gonna sell the overalls. Where are the overalls? All right, where do we wanna go next? This is a Malorn forest. We were just in a Malorn forest. The rest of this is temperate forest. Uh, woodland domain of the gelatinous superorganism. Interesting. There's a couple of people we could trade with right here. Maybe we move towards this Malorn forest. Days of food, 3.8. Ooh, okay. We'll only have, like, two days of food once we get there. We could go to the temperate forest, like, on the way. Dumidaries, mufflers, or horses would make a huge difference to migrating. So we do have a donkey. And we have a unicorn. Who's not a pack animal. But these Lorian, the Lorian stag and the Lorian doe we have are pack animals. But yeah, I would agree that a horse would be really nice. Um... Man hunting goats. Nice.
there's four man hunting goats. Who's this? Oh! Cerberus is trying to take out one of the goats. That's nice. <laughs> Okay, animals, you gotta go somewhere safe. What is this? This is a kappa. Dinner heard we were low on food. Um, so Cerberus took out one of the manhunting goats. That's nice. Thank you, Cerberus, for doing that. Why do they sound like guinea pigs? H game and run. Run. They sound like guinea pigs. Beautiful. Uh, excuse me? There's still some enemies in the area. We gotta take out Cerberus? Oh no, we do have to take out Cerberus. I I don't I'm not I'm not feeling very confident in our ability to take out Cerberus. <laughs> the rim goats, not just any goats. Yeah, they're shock goats actually. So they're pretty intense. Yep, it's Cerberus. Cerberus is an enemy. Cerberus is running away. That doesn't seem very likely. Cerberus is from the faction Ancients. Very interesting. I almost feel like we just go to the Malorn, the Malorn Forest. We have, um... I think we have the means to make it there. We can't carry these. They're too heavy. Okay. We'll just keep what we had and go. Nice. Just go straight there. Yeah, I mean... This tile is nice for our ideology because of how many trees are there. So it seems like another good a good idea to like relocate to another one of those biomes. Plus it's a little bit closer to these two. After we leave this tile, we'll probably want to be able to trade with a couple of settlements, right? So I think uh yeah, I think we settle here in this one. Let's look at this map for a bit. Oh, look at you. That is pretty nice. I think.
Excuse me? We just got raided. <laughs> All right, can we make it down to these chunks, maybe? Look at this, this is cool. Electric stove. Oh my God, I love, I love all this, but I think, um, I think we might be taking that electric stove too. We don't have electricity yet, so I'm not gonna do it yet, but yeah. This is the Yeah 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 Yo song. Claim it now, raiders will target it. That's true. They might go up that way. I didn't claim the electric stove, but I claimed that other stuff. There's another one over there. So they like rough living. That means that they're willing to sleep outdoors, right? <laughs> I don't know if it does mean that, but we're gonna test out the theory. All right, pen needed, yeah. We're gonna need to work on mining steel pretty quickly. There's some wooden structures we can deconstruct, which will be nice. Let's go ahead and set this to mine. Um, we're also going to set a dumping stockpile zone that we're going to allow them to put stone blocks and steel in. And we're going to put a stockpile zone in here that's not going to allow steel or stone blocks. I think we might wanna build right around here because of all that fertile soil. Where's the anima tree on this map? No anima tree? Am I crazy? Why am I not seeing an anima tree? Instantly raided, right? Uh, I kind of did a Naked Brutality start last week and cheese the hell out of the Raider AI by claiming random ruins on the map. Oh, that's not a bad idea. And then they attacked it. Let's see if the, they'll take down these blocks. Uh, get some slate blocks for us to build with. H Gammon, you're gonna go hide in here because you're nonviolent. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to um here we go. We can deconstruct that for some granite, build out the structure a little bit more, maybe. Oh, they're not attacking right away. Oh, they are attacking right away. No, they're not. Okay.
Oops. I'm just going to keep them forbidden from going too far. Hey, Chairman, open up this one. You can construct these. It'll help us get a little bit more space. Some people are getting some sleep. There we go. Our donkey's going to run away. Anything that can go on this goes on it. Okay. So like all this food. Specifically the rice. The berries might um decay. Antonina might run away. We need to get a pen up for Antonina. It'll spawn in a few days. Maybe it's hiding behind a Malorn. Those things hide stuff. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that. The map does not make it that easy to see. But the anima kind of has like a glow to it. Like this. But I feel like we would see it if we were looking. Okay, and uh, our animals. And of course, they're attacking now. Jade does a decay outside. Let's put the jade out here as well. No, not stone blocks. Oh, it's because of the... <laughs> okay. Um, textiles, drugs. I don't... Whatever you can put on this thing, put on this thing. 
bone? Maybe not bone. I guess just the textiles and wood. Yeah, bring our wood in too. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, unrestrict everyone. Um, allow everything. I selected text house. Hmm. Oh, critical. And, uh, let's put medicine here, and we'll put weapons here. We could potentially make our... Pen out of this Malorn wood. Because we have it. It's just a temporary thing. Okay, so could be worse. We don't have a lot of food. We are going to want the uh, to get the fueled stove going. This this could be a lot worse. This could be a lot worse. I want to haul the wood in urgently. The textiles would be nice. Um, what was our event? A seven from Easy Breezy. We get Paralytic of Asia. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Aurora Murray coming out with 50,000. Yeah, I ignored the event for a reason. It's, yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Um,. Is there anyone I really can't have it be? I feel like I really can't have it be MJ. Everyone else or Squid. But Squid is a crafter and we're not doing a lot of crafting. No, so MJ. So everyone else is in the, the pool. It's a five. So that's Aaron. Aaron, you're getting Paralytic Abasia. Sorry. That kind of stinks. Okay. <laughs> I love the D20s, but dang, does it stink sometimes when you get something like that. <laughs> uh, Paralytic Abasia to Aaron. No body part. Aaron is incapacitated for 32 days. Sometimes you can get lucky and they get up before then. Um, we'll just have to see. 
Luckily, we just got to this house, so we weren't planning on going anywhere anytime soon. So that's good. So who will sleep for a month, right? I just hunt and craft and meditate. Yeah, the only reason I was thinking you was because of crafting, but we actually don't have a lot of crafting to do. Um, it being Aaron is not that bad because Aaron is not a meditator. So that's actually not too shabby. MJ also is not a meditator, but MJ is just like really good at a lot of different tasks. And uh, it would be unfortunate if MJ was. Yeah, we need more storage space. So we're going to need to get to mining pretty fast. You're feeding Aaron. That's not a bad idea. Okay, and now, MJ, I'm going to need you to work on mining. No, actually, I'm going to need you to deconstruct over here. We're going to use this uh, granite to build some more structures. Sleep blocks. Okay. Let's also deconstruct this whole structure. And remove the floors over here. My cat is like, feed me. Feed me. And we have another structure over here. Oh my goodness. Okay. 25. We're going to try to just make like a big room here that we're going to store stuff in. I think that would be good. Tree is hiding in the mountain. This one? We already got one grass. Nice. Good job, everyone. They're working on it. need you to cook. And we also need our animals. Out of this space. The ones that we can control. Um, the donkey, we can't control, but the donkey's just going to eat grass in here. And, uh, if need be, we'll plant something in here. Still have more Malorn wood. I wonder if we can build doors with the Malorn wood. We can. That's nice. We'll try just doing something like this. I don't know if we're going to have the slate for it, but there's some slate over here and there's granite here. So maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One of the big ones. Yeah. Oh, this. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> I mean, I do really like this elf mod, but it's it's not perfect. Nothing is. Looks like we're getting some sandstone blocks. Maybe we'll do a couple of sandstone. Oh, we have to... We have to get it first. Talmar is working on it.
Hold that in. It's only enough to build one, I think. Okay. We can't use the Malorn for, um... Refueling, so I might use a little bit of it to make stools. Yes, yeah, so I don't think people care about sleeping outside. I mean, they're mad about, um... I think Talamar might connect to this tree. We'll do it in a minute. Okay, MJ, you won't deconstruct. You'll work on constructing. Squid's mining. Nice. I wonder if this is the move. I think it is. I'm going to let MJ go. Just forced to do stuff is not necessarily good. Um, hey. It's deteriorating because it's outside. I mean, this is not going to be that much better, but it's better than nothing. Gosh, I just want to keep playing, but I think we're going to have to call it. Um, when you're busy and don't have time to rest, that's when you need more rest, not less. Yeah, for sure. But we're actually doing okay, I think, with meditating. Aaron is in a horrible mood. Recreation unfulfilled, disturbed, sleep, darkness, hungry. Okay. We do need to get it indoors. Um, why did you stop doing that? Hmm. 
Okay. We got some granite on the map that should help us finish building up this structure. Once we have this structure built... Oh, whoops. Well, we're going to be meditating at the other one, so it doesn't really matter about this. Um... Do you think Talamar is going to connect to the tree? Nice. Making good progress, MJ. Playing the game ever. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do the connection now. Some people were meditating, but I think this is super important. You do Woodmaker Dryad. For now. So it makes us trees. And Talamar, what is your schedule? Uh, turn this off, turn this off. Just like this. Okay, so that should help with moods. And MJ. This is slate. Good. Is there any more granite on the map? No, we're going to have to cut it. We'll pull in the radius for cutting stone blocks so they just aren't going all over the map to cut stone blocks. Each game is already working on our granite, so that's great. Almost there. Almost there. Good night, Hendate. Thank you for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Actually, Hendate's calling tonight. I got to call tonight, too. We're going to save here. Um, We've connected with our Anima Nexus tree. That's going to help with moods. We have... Huh. It almost seems like the only person that's getting the mood boost is the one that's connected to the tree. That's weird. But it's only a minus one for not being connected. Um... Just before I forget, we should probably put, like, human corpses down here. Just so it's not right next to our base. Uh, okay, we're working on making food. Right now, all of our food is raw, but we are able to make more. We have wood that we can use to do it. Um... Slows you down a little. Okay, the wrapping slows you down. This is pretty good. We got some stuff outside still, but not too bad. 
we can start bringing those things in. We have three grass at the anima tree already, which isn't too... I think that's pretty good considering um, we're working on a structure that's going to be our storage space. This is not really sufficient for a storage space. Luckily, our people don't really mind working outside. So for now, all the stuff's outside. But I might move it closer to this facility or like in between. I don't know. We've mined a little bit of steel, which is good. Steel is nice for building things. So I feel pretty good about that. And uh, yeah, I think it's going okay. We might want to get some like chunk lines. Um, you know, something like this. So that way the, we have something with cover to stand behind. 